Haiti is burning. For weeks, thousands of angry protesters have been marching through the streets of the capital, Port-au-Prince, demanding that President Jovenel Moïse step down. Democracy for the damn babesoin. Democracy kidnapping non babesoin. Democracy au vérité faut vivre jeune Haïti. The president's term officially ended on February 7th, but Moïse wants to govern for another 12 months because he took office a year after he was voted in. Now, these protesters are demanding new elections. Opponents say the president is stalling so he can grab more power. But he has the backing of the U.S. and Haiti's police force. This is obviously from some kind of rubber bullet or, or tear gas canister that's hit this man. But yesterday, President Moise said that the country can get back to normal. All is calm, uh, business as usual. This doesn't look like business as usual. Jovenel Moise was elected in 2016, promising to end Haiti's cycle of violence and corruption. But things have only gotten worse. Murders are on the rise. Kidnappings surged by 200% last year, forcing many schools to close. Civil rights groups say many of the gangs responsible have links to Moise's government. The president denies this. Security forces and unidentified gunmen have been using deadly force to halt demonstrations. So protesters were pushed back from the outskirts of the city. They've now descended back towards the presidential palace. Police have lined up and they're firing tear gas at the protesters scattered along this park right here. Everyone's trying to take cover. In the last two years alone, more than 180 people have been killed during protests against the president. And while we were at the demonstration, we heard about yet another victim. So right now we're about to meet up with the family of Renal Dufresne. He's a motorbike taxi driver who was gunned down at the most recent government protest. You know, one of the things that we've been hearing from people that we've been talking to is that they're fed up with the gang violence and the kidnappings in Haiti. And this family is just another victim of that. Dufresne was shot and his body was set on fire while he was riding his moto taxi through a protest. Even here, where death and violence are a part of daily life, his killing shocked many Haitians. So far, no one has been charged for the murder. He's a simple man. He's not a kind of guy like who like that to go in a forest in a demonstration. How do you feel about what's happening in Haiti now? I'm scared sometimes uh, to go out to see like my friends. I'm scared because the, the situation, like uh, people like demonstration, I'm afraid like they kidnap too. We want to the government, we respect the law. Do you think that your brother will ever see justice? No, I, I don't think that because we don't have justice in Haiti for the time being. Now all the family wants is to bury Dufresne's body. They have no idea where the authorities have taken him or how they're going to pay for his funeral.
Dufresne is the latest victim in Haiti's long history of political violence. People here have been demonstrating against it for years. These protest routes are often so massive. There's different groups of protesters that come from different parts of Port-au-Prince, and they're meeting here at Resistance Square. Neighborhoods in Port-au-Prince are ruled by competing gangs who either support or oppose the government. The most notorious of these gangs is G9, which has alleged links to Moise's administration. In November 2018, they stormed the opposition-held neighborhood of La Saline, killing more than 70 people during a 14-hour rampage. The U.S. sanctioned two members of Moise's administration for planning the massacre and supplying G9 with the weapons to carry it out. They deny any wrongdoing. David Oxygen is a political activist. He believes the president is using the gangs to silence his opponents. With Jovenel Moise, there are militias that are inscribed in a group of army, a group of gangs, that are federated in the question of Genève, in all the cases of the to attack us. It's a massacre that's done in Saline, it's a massacre that's done in Grand Ville, it's a massacre that's done in the Cité Soleil, it's a massacre that's done in the Front National. It's clear that there are thousands of Haitians who, like you, are willing to go out on the front line of this protest and display your anger. But there's another section of the population that is terrified of what's going on on the streets of Port-au-Prince. Is there another way to get what you want without resorting to, to violence? I mean, the mass population uses the manifestation of the people who attack them. It's gas lacrimogen, it's a mass pour fusiller les gens. C'est pour les gens, pour les gens. Pas de droit de protestation. Et nous, Jovenel Moïse, à travers donc réseau, laboratoire kidnapping, les installés dans le pays, qui fait tout le monde paix. Laboratoire kidnapping, ça, les rivets l'ont moment, dans le dernier niveau, ça nous est, les le premiers niveaux piquent. While the capital is in chaos, the president is nowhere to be seen. We tracked him down all the way on the other side of the country in port au -Pay. He's celebrating Carnival. port au -Pay is just 100 miles from Port-au-Prince but it feels like another world. So do you know what's happening in Port au Prince right now? Violent protests? If you have the opposition, you have to pay the country. 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 But the country is going to pay. Do you still accept Moïse as your president, even though many people in this country say that his mandate ended over a week ago now? Yes, I always think that the president is going to pay. Parce que le mandat n'est pas fini. Il est là pour 7 février 2022. Finally, we got to the president himself. President Moïse, we met a young man named Ronald Dufresne. He was killed on Sunday in the recent protest. And you're here celebrating. Is that the message that you want to send his family right now? President the carnival is a national The president has the capacity to the carnival. I, the president, I'm the first one to protect life, to protect the family, to protect everyone. The streets of Port-au-Prince right now, it's filled with protesters and people are being hurt. There's being fires lit in the streets. It's chaos. What are you going to do about the security situation in Haiti right now? Nous prenons des milliers de manifestations déjà pendant quatre ans. Changement pas jamais facile. Protestation à Paléo, c'est normal parce que nous sommes en démocratie. C'est normal parce qu'il y a des gens qui ne sont pas d'accord. Merci en ville. Joyeux carnaval 2020. Monsieur, 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 monsieur
It's been a week since Renal Dufresne was killed while riding his motorbike through the protests. His family finally found his body after authorities buried him without telling them. They brought him home and managed to borrow $1,000 for the funeral. The smell during the service is overwhelming because of everything that's happened to his body. Haiti's founding in 1804 was a defining moment in world history. What began as a slave revolt against the French in 1791 led to the creation of the first post-colonial Black Republic, ruled by Jean-Jacques Dessalines. That history hangs heavy over modern Haiti. For many here, it defines their place in the world and their relationship with their big, rich neighbor up north. C'est politique américaine, non? Non, 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 qui ont problème avec Haïti? Première République noire. C'est politique américaine, non? Qui ont problème avec Haïti? Jovenel Moïse au pouvoir, sous contrôle, direction impérialiste américain, il a attaqué qui il tue nous? Il a attaqué les Vodou? Il a attaqué donc esprit en cette nuit? The U.S. annexed Haiti in 1868 and occupied it in 1915 for two decades. More than a century later, it still plays a powerful role in the country's politics. If you had a message for President Biden, what do you think he can do right now for Haiti? Pas une question de Joe Biden. Si ma foi mais ça va Joe Biden, et comme si ma ma surpassé Joe Biden sous Jean Jacques Dessalines. Pas une question ça. Joe Biden a mené une politique américaine jusqu'à présent. Joe Biden, démocrate, Donald Trump, républicain. Mais qui différence politique qui gagne la réalité là? Même politique, même politique qui a supporté Joe Biden. 